with Mario 64 getting a 4K PC port. What? And the original article I had for this uh, had a video that was taken down. So already, <laughs> it's not looking good for this 4K yeah. PC port. This is according to VideoGamesChronicle.com. A fully functional MC, a Mario 64 PC port has been released. A fan-made PC version enables native 4K resolutions and ultra-widescreen support. Uh, the fan-made port, which uh, was first shared on social media sites this weekend, was made possible by a 2019 recompilation project with saw fans reverse-engineer the game's source code. Unlike PC emulators, which... Im- uh, imitate the conditions of the original n64 hardware the direct x 12 powered port allows players to run mario 64 at high, uh, far higher resolutions without compromise such as native 4k or in ultra wide screen mode interesting uh, players can also use modern peripherals to play the game such as microsoft's xbox one controller hmm uh, it's even possible to add modern visual effects to Super Mario 64 via third-party uh, app Reshade, including primitive ray tracing. <laughs> wow. The native PC port should also have significant implications for Mario 64's active mod community, which had previously required an emulator for its projects. It's not yet clear if Mario 64 release uh, uh, has, if the Mario 64 release has any relation to a recent significant leak of Nintendo uh, legacy console data, or if the timing is coincidental. Uh, Well, I don't know if that leak had anything to do with N64 stuff. Well, the leak had like the N64 test demos. Yeah. But like, we've shown. No, I don't think it had anything to do with the Mar- this Mario 64. Right. Yeah, no, this is this is a coincidence. The data could, in theory, be used to create illegal clone hardware about able to run software and operate exactly like the original systems. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, wait, wait. I, I skipped a paragraph. According to various sources, over two terabytes of data was allegedly leaked onto the anonymous forum. That's just 4chan. recapping the, the Nintendo leak. Yeah, but it says original source code for Nintendo 64, GameCube, and Wii, but we only knew about the Wii. Hmm. Where did this other stuff come from? Virtual console? No. All right, well, anyway, the PC emulation community could also theoretically use the data to improve their software to so, so that it imitates the original systems perfectly. However, since the leaked documentation has been illegally obtained, this would uh, put them in a murky territory. Mario 64 is set to be re-released for Nintendo Switch later this year as part of the Super Mario Bros. 35th anniversary. That is a rumor. Yeah. (laughs) So I don't know why they're stating it as fact. Uh, As first revealed by VGC, uh, Nintendo will reveal plans to re-release most of Super Mario's 35-year back catalog this year remastered for the Nintendo Switch, including 1997's Super Mario 64, 2002's Super Mario Sunshine, and 2007's Super Mario Galaxy. I thought Mario 64 was uh, 1996. It is 1996. What the the hell? (laughs) What's going on with this article, man? I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Oh, Europe, 1997. Oh, okay. That makes sense. I know what's going on with this article. (laughs) Nintendo will also release several other Mario titles in 2020. Uh, Okay, it's a rumor, man. All right, I'm done. Um, But here's the actual footage of the game. After this ad plays. (laughs) Uh, Honestly, it looks like what it looks like in an emulator to me. Because, like, except that it's widescreen. Yeah. It's not 4 um, by 3 the, the thing is, like, I don't know, at least for me, discerning between 4K and 1080p at this screen size doesn't make a difference. Right. Like, you can't really tell. Um, I mean, it looks good. So, so not taking that away from them. When you're playing N64 games in an emulator on your computer... If you have, yeah. a, you know, a computer that can do 1080p or 4K, I mean, mm-hmm. everybody's, I don't know why I said that everybody's could do 1080p. 
you can see really sharp polygons and it looks really good mm -hmm. but the textures are still ass and the yeah. uh the assets are still ass and that's what we're seeing here <laughs> <laughs> this game is in desperate need of a remaster because these textures are terrible yeah um I think there are texture packs you can get for this game, but uh, you need you need to run them in an emulator. Yeah. So I think that's something that they should do on the freaking PC port. Why not? Why wouldn't they do that? Well, I feel like if they're going to fix the texture pack, that's going to be like a whole other can of worms because I got to like find the textures. I got to like map them correctly to everything. Well, it exists, but for emulators. Right. Um. Also, the... Uh, Xbox controller support is awesome. Uh, you can kind of do that in emulators, but like yeah. uh, the C, the C, the the right stick is the C buttons. Yeah, and that which is the camera, like, and it's not good. Yeah, this it looks like the camera is way smoother. Yeah, like actual camera controls, like you would expect on a modern game. Yeah, well, isn't usually a Lakitu in the corner? Doesn't he usually have the C buttons around him? Like the, I if, think you so. hit, yeah, if you yeah. hit them, it looks yeah. like you're using the right stick like you would in a free look third person game. Yeah. So that probably that's the my biggest problem with playing Mario 64 is the camera is just atrocious. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that's why I think that, like usually like remasters like you don't really need a remaster. I'm cool with like having like pretty like old school looking graphics, mm -hmm. but Mario 64 needs updated textures and. It needs that well, camera fixed. I don't necessarily think it would need a updated textures because that will change it from being like Mario sixty four. Well, that's, you know, that, that's, that's part of the visual look of Mario sixty four. But but it was a it was a limitation, like right? It, it wasn't supposed to look like this. <laughs> it was like they went, oh, we ran out of space. Oops, I guess we'll just make everything look terrible. <laughs> um. But if we get a complete remake this year, I think that'd be even That would be interesting. That'd be even better. Yeah. I'm cool with a remaster, but a remake would be insane. I would like to play it. I think it's... That YouTube video was uh, was taken down. I'd be surprised if the download for this was still up. Oh, it'd be amazing if the download was still up because Nintendo is very good at like taking that crap down. Yeah. Mr. A Game, DM me a link to where you got it. <laughs> Uh, I would like to give it a shot. I also uh, there's a there's a Mario sixty four uh, uh, multiplayer mod where you can play up to like twenty five people. Really, like in the game, yeah. And then they have a bunch of Mario characters in it. And there's also an Ocarina of Time multiplayer mod that is surprisingly easy to get running. Uh, which I've tried, I dabbled in that, and that was actually pretty fun. Um, but yeah, I want to give. I just want to give this a, a little taste. I want to give it a little shot. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm more excited for these supposed uh, Mario games to come out later this year. I'm gonna have a lot of fun with that. Yeah. Although the new consoles are gonna be out then. True. So I'm gonna have a very busy end of the year.